Hi, and welcome back um, to Fishing for Truth and um, the Jesus is in um, chapter headings. Today I really wanted to talk about Simple God, and that's on page 137. And when I talk to people about God, I try to keep it really simple, really simple. And so I just thought this would be a really great place. Um, Sierra foothills. Eh, probably not in the foothills anymore, but more up into the mountains. To say, we serve God. We serve God, Yahweh God. And He loves us. He, lo he loves us so much that He created all of this for us to just simply enjoy. And He made a plan because he's holy and we're not so that we could come and be before him and and uh, have a relationship with him that's healthy and that plan was for someone else to pay for our sinfulness and he designed the plan so he's holy and he designed a plan to help rectify the problem of our unholiness and he used his son his plan to um, pay the price and I think that we all have people in our lives who were just like, yeah, they're they're worthy of death. I mean, they they did something so horrific and, and heinous, and we're like, you know, they just they shouldn't live. I think we all go through those times where we hear stories about um, heinous things that people have done, and uh, and and we are actually one of them because if we break the law, we break the law, and so um, God said, rather than just like you break the law, that's too bad. He made a plan. He made a plan for all of us. And so Jesus came to show us how to live the life that God wants us to live, which is loving him and loving others as we love ourselves. So we love him, love ourselves, love others. And after he was done showing us how to do that well, um, he was put to death to pay the penalty for our sins. So we have this God who loves us so much that he created all of this wonderful stuff and said, here, enjoy this, and just remember me, and say thank you once in a while, and hang out with me, and we have a really hard time doing that, and so we'll, we fall down, and we can't get up on our own accord, and so what does he do? He pays the price for us. He does it for us, and then he says, okay, you're forgiven, and we go to him, and we're like, hey, you know, I jacked it up. He's like, all right, you're forgiven, so... We have this God who made everything, who wants us to have a relationship with us, loves us a ton, created a plan to make that happen, and all we have to do is accept it. We can make it more complicated. We can make it a whole lot more complicated if we want to. But God does not want it that way. God doesn't, has no desire to have a complicated plan. And, and if you even look at the life of Jesus and, and, and the people that he talked to, they were uneducated. His disciples, uh, most of which were uneducated men. And, and they changed the world. They, they built a church for, with 12 guys that lasted thousands of years. And, and if we simplify um, our understanding of God, our, the expectations of God, the depth of the love of God, if we just simplify it all and say the plan is his, he designed it, and, and I'm going to just receive it, then our experience with him is just so much more peaceful and confident. And, and then um, we rely on him instead of ourselves. And I found this little piece of paper in my Bible uh, the other day that it says, I depend on God, not myself. And it seems kind of simple. And yet throughout a regular day, I'll be so, so focused on what, am I getting it right? Am I doing it right? Am I saying the right thing at the right time to the right person? Am I praying right? Am I um, giving well? Um, and I can get so caught up in all of that. And, and, to, and to say, okay, uh, I'm going to depend on God. I'm going to depend on God and lean on him and use his strength and his power and his wisdom and his knowledge and not my own. It's very relieving. And so um, spend some time and just say, what are, what are all the things that I add to the simple God concept that I really don't need to add and that, that actually detract from the, the joy of, uh, and the contentment of just knowing him for the truth of who he is. And, 
And then ask yourself, why do I add those? Where do those messages come from? Um, um, what, what are the, what is the history and, and, uh, the background behind some of the things that I believe and say and do that make me feel like God will love me more if I do all this stuff and, and, uh, and be aware, just be aware, be aware of the times when, when you say, okay, well, you know, God is not enough. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do more. I got, he's gotta be more. I gotta expect more. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Um, and how much we actually interfere with, um, all that God has already done. And, and, and he just says, okay, let's go play. Let's go play. And, and let's have a good day. And, and, uh, come hang out with me. And so we can either say, sure, right on. Let's go do that. Or we can just insert all sorts of stuff that he never intended us to think. And so I hope that, uh, you can come up with some, just some simple God statements. So if somebody asks you, you know, tell me about the God that you know, you can say, hey, I got a God, my God, my God created all this. And he loves me and he loves you and, and he just wants to hang out with you and wants you to know him and feel his love and know what it's like to be forgiven um, and accepted. I think people get hung up on the forgiveness. Well, why do I need to be forgiven? How about accepted? And we talk about, you know, God's going to accept us. And you're like, wow, okay, is he going to accept this and this and this? Well, the stuff that makes you hesitate and, and doubt that, that's the stuff that he forgives. And when we go, all right, God, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I really am going to change my ways. I'm going to allow you to help me change the way. You know, just like, all right. Um, those are the things that we, that can get in the way of just, of just accepting and receiving him. So hopefully you can simplify it. Um, come up with just some simple statements. And uh, that are just like the ones that are in the book. Um, that, that you can say, all right, this is the God that I serve. I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to enjoy what he's given us. And um, enjoy my life um, spiritually. And our circumstances might be jacked up. And let me tell you, I, I can have really jacked up circumstances. And um, that does not change how much God loves me or his plan for me or the spiritual peace that I can have or the contentment that I can have and, um, and that you can have as well. And so I hope that uh, uh, this has been encouraging for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bless you.